The bee's tongue is called a proboscis. It's pointy, but it's very soft. It's hollow, and the bee uses it like a straw to suck up nectar or honey. When a foraging bee returns with her load of nectar, she will touch her tongue with another bee's tongue, who will suck up her nectar load and take it inside the hive to be processed into honey. That exchange is called trophallaxis. Bees can taste with their proboscis. Bees have sensilla, tiny sensitive hairs, located on their mouth parts, antennae, and on their feet. Bees fold their long tongue into their mouth when not being used. When needed, they can unfold the pieces and join them together to make a straw for sucking up nectar. Short tongue bees don't make the same kind of straw and may lap rather than suck up nectar. Which bee has the longest tongue? It's the Scandinavian bumblebee.